They are going through the CCNA courses, the NetAcad program and all that. So uh, I can relate to the whole thing, right? Not working at Cisco uh, and having a territory as wide as the US uh, for the partner organization, it's, it's been great. I gotta say, when I, when I was joining Cisco, one of the, I remember like about three years ago, cause I left for about two years to another software company, but I just, I couldn't wait to get back. So when I was trying to get back, uh, when I got this job, I, I remember my conversation with my boss and she said, well, we're really looking for somebody with a DevOps background. And I was like, well, this is a networking engineering, but that's me. I have all this background on, on, of course, on networking engineering, but I also like to dabble with some Python scripting. And I also like to, well, my, my degree project for university was a hundreds of lines of code of, of Visual C++ all the way back then for image processing and stuff like that. So I was like, that's me. Give me the chance to show that this is what I like to do. So my message to, to everybody out there is Cisco is an amazing company to work for. We not only want your skills, we want your culture. So if you're into DevNet, if you're into programming or developing, showcase that out there. Put your GitHub up, uh, start telling people what you're doing. If you're developing games, show them out there, tweet about it, because we're looking for that type of uh, skill sets that is going to help us take uh, our relationship with all of our customers to the next level through programmability. Uh, as far as the culture goes, uh, when I joined Cisco, when I rejoined Cisco about three years ago, I was a channel to see for a very small territory, Orlando and Tampa, so Central Florida. And it quickly grew because I was the person in my team that had that extra interest in programmability beyond what the rest of the folks had. So for my manager and for my SE director in corporate America, it's very easy when you're gonna hand pick somebody to do a job that matches what they've already been doing, it's a no brainer. So they said, well, we don't even need to interview for this because David's been playing around with this thing for two years. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So we need now a role that matches DevOps, that matches this DevNet type of personality. That's him. There's, there's really no other way. So